Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Will and we are back with some more Alan Wake today. And we are possibly going to be finishing up today. We are up to episode 6, which is supposed to be the last episode. I have no idea how long it is. So let's get into it and see where this story takes us. Honestly, I don't... I mean, hmm. After the initial mystery kind of happened where it's like we woke up and we don't know really what's going on, I kind of thought there'd be a little bit more uh, question and answer kind of thing. But honestly, it's just kind of been this one main question throughout the whole thing so far. So interesting. I, I definitely thought that there'd be a lot more back and forth or like a lot more progression into like what's going on. Um, there has been a decent amount, but it's definitely been a lot more like, okay, we're here in the town. Okay, we're here in this forest. Okay, we're here. It's a lot more like situational feeling rather than just like this overarching story. Almost like obviously the main story has been pushing us every single through every single one. But I don't know. I just for some reason I thought there'd maybe be like a little bit more going on. But honestly, it kind of seems pretty straightforward. It's just the details of what's going on is the thing that's getting me so let's get into this back into episode six in one of my finer moments of self-deception i swore to quit drinking I wasn't sure if I could face the world without my sunglasses and something for my headache. Awesome. For my headache. Pop pills. The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. And then he said we needed sunglasses. Ah. Uh, the sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. That's just your phone. <laughs> Remember TiVo? How that was a thing? <laughs> oh, the olden days. I'd been a guest on the talk show the previous night, talking about my latest book. The show was supposed to be waiting for me on our TiVo. Were we sponsored by TiVo? <laughs> been talking with the best-selling author Alan Wake about his new book The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm gonna be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard. Always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck. 
like with his love life with the lady. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. <laughs> well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good, great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Well, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also write several books. <laughs> God. Your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. Once more, do the face for a Sam. And our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you. And good night. At least I've been funny. I told myself I could live with that. Hey, honey. Did you watch the show? I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Possibly one where we don't get disappeared. <laughs> Bad chance on that one, Alan. Present day. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. Why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. What? Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. <clears throat> Good luck, Al. See you later. I love that this writer's like Barry. Take the police officer's gun, and everyone's just fine with it. <laughs> when I got out, it was warm and sunny. I'd flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I'd stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Oh, we actually have traffic? Crazy. Okay, it looks like I'm pretty far away from... You need to be, maybe? I don't know. A lot of gliding Alone shots. In daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. It was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream. A delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this. Having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed, there would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Okay, I need to remember controls on um, what was run again. Okay. Jump and run, I need to just remember those two, the rest. Come naturally. Hmm. 
We still have our lights on. Honestly, this is what I thought the main part of this would be, is us trying to get back to the cabin and then doing a final showdown. But I did not think we would doing, be doing it during the day. Okay, I can't tell. There's a bit of uh, color shifting, and I can't tell if that's like whatever we're do, whatever we did with the clicker is wearing off, or if it's just some weird lighting effects stuff happening. All right, nothing here. Yeah, there's like some dimming happening, and I don't know if that's just us or what. Alright, those are probably going to come into play. Alright, this is a lot more open, it feels like. Ah! Pay attention to the road would probably help. was a link between us always would be i could feel its presence again getting closer i will kill your wife great to see you too buddy We might have missed something behind us, but hopefully not. The Dark Presence was no longer trying to capture the Rider so he could create the ending it wanted. The Rider knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane, something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the Rider from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. Uh, honestly, there's not a lot of pages for this final chapter. This this might actually be a pretty short chapter then. I'm assuming those will probably start rolling. They'll be rolling on us. Yeah, I don't trust going in front of those and them not dropping down on us. All right, actually, let's see our inventory. Not a lot. All right. I haven't really tried to outrun too many enemies. I need to keep an eye open for, like, the bright light checkpoints. So if we run into enemies, we can just bypass them and run to that light. I need to do that more. Or get a car. That would also work. Uh, we haven't found... We need to still find radio. I think one more radio and another TV.
Wait a minute, a hotel. Oh, it's a different style hotel, but there was a hotel that was played a big role in uh, control. Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. Means we might be able to find some gear, some clues to what the hell's going on with him. This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Uh, he was leading a manhunt and was trying to kill you. But this really does not answer any questions. I'm pretty sure... Ah, holy shit, he ran up on us way faster than I thought he was going to. Oh, dive. Ah, fuck off. Nothing, nothing going on. Are you fucking kidding me? save spot that was not the best situation that was kind of lame uh God. Objects are the worst. Objects are the worst, especially when you have a bunch of shit just flying around. It's like, bro! Mm. 
Okay, that's not great. And yeah, I don't know what's with the platform things. I guess we have to go a specific route. Damn it. These, yeah, the ones that just move up and down. Those ones are a pain in the ass. What the hell? seen the barrel anywhere. I think I already took that out. I'd say good use of flashbang. Yeah, and I feel like I'm crazy. I felt like we started the game using this car, and then like we never really used it. Really had it throughout the entire game. So it's like, is I crazy? I need to re... We see the whole game. Oh, fuck me. What? Well, there's a huge light over there, so that's got to be something. off layer. Yeah, this area is so much bigger than the, all the others. You could definitely explore this one a lot, probably. But due to our limited resources, it's like I don't 
really want to deal with that. Alright. See, this is what I had in mind. Controlling this vehicle is the opposite of smooth. <laughs> this car maybe haven't had to deal with a lot of goo yeah like i think it was maybe in the second chapter there was some goo that once we like got rid of it it like shifted a plane we haven't really done anything like that since then and i'm wondering if i'm just like maybe overlooking it oh hello shotgun shells Players, yes, yes. Sure, I've already missed some caches of uh, money. I mean, caches of uh, ammo. Woo! To switch to flares. I'm hoping by doing this, it will clear up the road or something. Nothing. None of these cars we can get in. Oh, alright, shit. So it was a little bit of a waste of time to take out that goo then. Uh, <laughs> Mother fuck off. That was fucking dumb. I got swarmed from behind, which is how it usually goes in this game. It's so lame that so much of the... So much of the time when you're actually in danger, it's just because of dumbasses that get behind you. That's like it. It's either they're throwing from range or they get from behind you. There's nothing that's ever straight on dangerous. Fuck 
off. Ah, and the dodge is a hitting dodge. I'm hitting dodge right now. Nothing's happening. Once again, there's someone again always behind. They're always behind. Uh, it's so fucking annoying trying to deal with people while more people just always swarm in from behind. It's whatever. All right, I'm just going to book it. There's no point in fighting these assholes. Since they just keep on swarming in from where? From behind. Dude, I was right there. I could have just... Damn it. I wasted it last time. Alright. The bottom of Cauldron Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. The dark presence brought them up in its wake, scattering the rotten waterlogged hull of an old boat here, the remains of a long-ago crashed airplane there, trees shattered under the impacts, the earth groaned. It didn't even notice. At least we're getting another really good car. This seems to be the best car in the game. It feels like it. Never mind. I thought I saw something over... Over there. wasn't going to shoot Sarah. They both knew that. Once she had no chance of catching up to Wake, Barry gave up the gun and sat down on the floor, shielding his face from the merciless glare of the well-lit room. I don't think I'm ever going to see him again, he said in a weak voice. Sarah didn't have it in her to be mad at him. Besides, he was probably right. That might be how this game ends. <laughs> Alright, I had to have missed a turn off. Yeah, right there. Fuck off. to get the gate open.
There we go. Oop, more flashbangs, another flare gun, which always adds at least one piece of ammo, so that's good. No radio up here. Damn it! I for every time I start this game back up, I always forget that that's a thing. That it auto switches to the weapon. Fuck, that sucks. Well, we're back down to one. <laughs> I don't remember seeing this on our drive-in, but whatever. Wait, what now? We're in here, but there's just like... It's gotta be... Are we over in here? Zane cut its heart out, but it didn't die. The thing that wore Barbara's face kept crooning sweet nothings sugar-laced with poison. He put on the suit, untied the monster from the chair. The thing in his arms thrashed weakly, but he held fast. He stepped outside, off the pier, and into the dark water, a sinking pinprick of light descending toward a bottom that never came. Okay, so I think I have to use uh, the giant magnet. Move something? And clearly an ambush about to happen. Where's the button? Get back into the car. Oh, it's totally fucked. Ah! 
Of course. Of course I kill it, and it still gets that extra hit in, you turd. Ah, you suck. <laughs> okay, they are way too nice to us in this game. Although we are playing it on normal still, so it's like... Constantly giving us vehicles. I wonder if you could actually jump that. Really? That's it? When I told Barry my plan back in the well-lit room, I'd acted as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't. I was operating on the shifting logic of a dream. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. Oh, great. All right, that's... Oh, that's not a good sign. I will never give her to you. I'm definitely going to miss one here somewhere. Always one behind. I need to... God damn. Okay, luckily we had a shitload of those.
Alright, I'm pretty sure we're good. There was a lot more hefty guys than I thought there was going to be. I thought... Honestly, I kind of prefer that. Just like having a few hefty guys rather than just a bunch of those assholes that throw stuff. Because the guys that throw stuff, those ones are just a massive pain in the ass. And I really wish the floodlight did more damage. Just like a death beam, since it's a giant fucking floodlight. Oh, we already picked up another one. So soon. The dark place I found myself in was unlike anything I could ever have imagined. It wasn't solid. It flowed. It was conceptual and subjective. For someone else, an artist in another field, it would have been very different. I could sense the story of the manuscript all around me. The words and ideas floating in the air, poised to become real. I was the ether. All right. So since... Okay, we have one page left. Like, usually this is a good indicator to show you, like, how close we are to the end. So having just one page left to find... Would mean that we're actually pretty damn close. I wonder if uh, we rewatch uh, episode one, if we'll see some of the stuff that we passed in this episode as we were making our way to the cabin. I could see Mirror Peak in the distance. That's where Cauldron Lake was. <sighs> so far and there's birds the birds boom bunch of flare gun ammo are you seriously are we gonna rail cart this hell yeah we're on rails baby Rail shooter, let's do this. All right, I'm gonna use off flare. Let's see how that goes. I was, I was expecting that to be a little bit longer and to have a lot more birds to deal with. Like, there's a lot of birds. Like, we have to deal with the big bird boss. There has to be. It'd just be a waste of setup if we never did. There we go. All right. Got he. Yeah, you better run. Birds are pretty easy to deal with. I 
What was... Hold on, let me... I, I, I don't want the birds... There's got to be a trophy for getting all of them. All that goo. Get in the goo! Ah! Where? How? Dude, I'm like full up on ammo. I could probably go buck wild pretty easily through this. trying to think of some of the stuff that we've seen all around us I'm trying to see how that connects with control I'm sure someone did a breakdown video of this few flares I've had to use. Really not much else.
Get the goo. It's pretty, pretty easy to get through. Honestly, I definitely wasn't taking the straight path, so I might have missed something there. Probably. How did I miss that? How do I get out? Well, we clearly have to go in here and completely oh. missed that. Okay. There's no basement. Oh, this is a battle arena. I needed to get the generator running. Oh, okay, let's follow the power lines, I'm assuming. Really? Huh. I would have assumed there would have been a little bit more to it. Like something tried to attack us. Uh-oh, this is not good. Alright, really nothing around here. Alright. Let me just... Grab that. Pop it off. And then we'll be back over here. Honestly, I should have probably looked behind me and checked this more. I could probably could have just dipped out a little bit earlier. Oh, there's the final page. After Zane had gone, I stood alone in the shifting dream that was the dark place. I had to find a way to the cabin. I'd written myself a way through this place in the manuscript. I followed the idea of a path. I'd written myself across the ocean that blocked my way, and with that, there was a bridge to the island beyond. The idea of the cabin flickered in the underwater darkness. I willed the cabin to be real. And it was.
You used quite a few flashbangs there. Turn back now. Okay, you seriously need to get over it, lady. I used quite a few of them, but on. Do as you're told. <sighs> it's so dumb. I love like these rocks that bounce around like styrofoam are the things that hurt us. Now let's go shotgun. Never left you. I really wish that we had something more than just that one ah, little uh, cutscene scream. Shapeless darkness. You... Damn it! Getting cornered by some of this bullshit debris! how you're supposed to do it or what? I had to get light into its heart to hurt it. This is kind of dumb. Why would they just give us a giant crate? I love whatnot. It's like an infinite box. Is it? Like, I'm not seeing, like, where's the heart? It's kind of. Oh, wow, that kind of just answered it for me. You're making this up.
Oh, that was it. I, honestly, I didn't know what the final quote unquote boss fight was going to be, but I didn't think it would just be shooting endless flares into a tornado. But yeah, that was a lake at one point. Could it be that perhaps a boat was a power up object and it sank there and that's what caused it? There's so many questions. Literally anything could be anything and do anything. So it's like. No, that's not where you want to go, buddy. <laughs> Shh, baby. You were having a bad dream. It was just another nightmare. No. Everything's fine. You're home. It wasn't a dream. Everything's fine. Baby. Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on! Shh, baby. The power's out. There's no light. Come back to bed and I'll make you forget all about your fear in the dark. My fear? It's your fear. Why aren't you afraid? You're not Alice. Turn the lights on now. Where's the clicker? What did you do with it? Alan? You're scaring me now. Come back to bed. Have you taken your pills? Do you want me to call Dr. Hartman? There we go. Clicker! Come back to bed, Tom. Doppelganger. Don't mind him. He's Mr. Scott. Your friends will meet him when you're gone. Stop grinning like a psycho. <laughs> Clicker a new ability now. Terrible mistake. 
mistake. I should have never written you back. You came back wrong. Your heart is filled with darkness. Put that knife away, Thomas. Put it down. My heart is filled with darkness. Cut it out. Oh! Your husband refused to do as he was told. All he had to do. Oh, dang it. I cut her off. Now you will never get her back. I am much older than you. Older than your first work of art. I will find a new face to wear. Uh, someone else to dream me free. The power of hugs. <laughs> or light. I meant light. <laughs> I swear to God, if it ends with us in darkness, I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> After this, I'm totally watching a video on the connections between I can feel this and... Close by. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to departure. There's light and there's darkness. Cause and effect. There's guilt and there's atonement. But the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. That's where Zane had gone wrong. There's a long journey through the night back into the light. So he spent many days are writing. I love that little melody they play on the piano.
So what, is it now as if everything that happened with us never happened? And we just disappeared? Kiss! <laughs> Yeah, we never got answers with what the fuck's up with the FBI agent. I'm pretty sure... <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> oh, thank Christ they're doing a sequel. <laughs> Okay, so I know there's an FBI agent in the next one. I wonder if they'll be explaining some of the current FBI agent's bullshit. I'm hoping that somehow the Center of Control, or Department of Control, somehow pops up in there. But hey, we did it! it took us hour 20 minutes to get through that. Honestly, pretty easy. It was... The end was a lot more minimal than I thought. Like, the final chapter. The previous chapter, like, we were going through it with, like, all these other people, and I'm like, yeah, this is great. And then the final showdown thing, I'm, I thought maybe we'd be together with them a bit more. Until, like, the final part when we go to do the fight, but... Ultimately, I'd say it definitely felt like a back step. And... The final confrontation was kind of a letdown. Honestly, it's like, but how would you even make that an interesting thing? Like, they did it in Control, but that came out, like, 10 years later, where they had, like, way more, like, advantages in software and, like, development to make it way more interesting. So, yeah, it's like, it's, an, it, it's a really interesting game. I don't know if I'll ever replay this apart from like just picking up the rest of the pages on hard mode. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to play the next one. And I really enjoyed it. Can't wait to play the next one. Uh, can't wait to watch some theory videos to see how this connects, like theory videos on this alone, as well as how it connects with control. But yeah, that is it for Alan Wake. Uh, tomorrow we are going to be starting Death's Door, which is a indie game that came out a while ago. It's on PlayStation right now for free, so I picked that up. It's kind of like... I don't even know how to describe it. I think it's supposed to be like a roguelite dungeon crawl kind of situation. Um, where it's more of like a Zelda, like old school Zelda, where it's more of like a top... Not, not fully top down, but it's like similar to it where it's just like the camera's up high with your character underneath and uh you're making your way through i don't even know exactly i think maybe layers of death or something or layers of hell i'm not 100 percent um it doesn't look that hardcore it looks like fun and cartoony and interesting uh, i want to give it a try so we're gonna test it out tomorrow see if i vibe with it if not we'll move on to batman but if i really like it we'll uh, continue playing it until it's beat um, let's see here. Uh, actually, let me look up how long it's supposed to be. Yeah, you play as a crow, you have a sword, and you're making your way through this dungeon, and you have to fight all these other, like, animals and whatnot. And I remember when it came out, a lot of people were playing it, and I heard really good things. Yeah, it's like 9 out of 10 everywhere. So a lot of people really love it. Um, let's see here. Playtime. Let's see. What are we looking at here? Oh no, sorry. Auto corrected to How did it auto correct from playtime to gameplay? Okay, playtime. Okay. Um about nine hours in length, so that's a couple of streams, but it's about 15 and a half or hundred percent. I don't know if we're gonna go for that. There are a few games that I want to go for hundred percent, so like Elden Ring style. But yeah, it's like a fun, cartoony-looking game. 
We'll play it tomorrow, check it out, see how it goes. But yeah, like I've been wanting to try it for a while. Hopefully I vibe with it. So that's the plan for tomorrow is Death Store. <sighs> yeah, I'm just ending right now. Uh, but yeah, Death Store tomorrow. Then Monday and Tuesday we're doing Legend of Zelda. Wednesday, Thursday will be the new Genshin Impact update. And we're going to be exploring the new area and whatnot for that. And yeah. And if next weekend, like if I like Death Store next weekend, we will uh, continue it and hopefully get through it. Yeah, I don't know much about the story other than like you're a crow and you're making your way through like and like these ruins and whatnot. And like the bosses are like weird looking enemies. Yeah, we're going to be getting into that tomorrow. Thank you for coming by and stopping by, even if it was right at the end. I appreciate it. Uh, that's the end for day 1075 of streaming in a row. Um, Yeah, pretty good game. Honestly, really can't wait to uh, just look into some more lore videos about this and see like what are some theories for the next game and whatnot. Uh, I only like kind of briefly seen the trailers for Alan Wake 2, so now I want to go back and rewatch them and see like, okay, do I pick up anything more now that I've completed the game? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for today. Hope you all have a good one, and I'll see you all tomorrow with Death Store.